it's your love that makes me run into your presence you're my helper it's your mercy that makes me run into your presence you're my helper my helper you're my helper Lord, you're my helper, oh, my helper, it's your goodness that makes me run into your presence, my helper. My dear friend, a very good morning, a very good morning. I'm praying and trusting the Lord that this word of encouragement finds you all today. Today, to just kick off our word of encouragement, I just have a question to ask you. Who do you run to when you need help? In times of trouble, who do you run to? Do you have an option one and then an option two? Or do you just run to God, your Savior? Who do you run to? My dear friend, let me take you from the book of Psalms 3. This was King David. We're reading from the Amplified Bible and read to the glory of King Jesus. And the title actually says, Morning Prayer of Trust in God. So we read to the glory of King Jesus. O oh Lord, how many, sorry, O oh Lord, how my enemies have increased. Many are rising against me. Many are saying of me, there is no help, no salvation for him in God. But you, O oh Lord, I a shield for me, my glory and my honor, the one who lifts my head. With my voice, I was crying to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept safely. I awakened, for the Lord sustains me. Hallelujah. I will not be intimidated or afraid of the ten thousands who have set themselves against me all around arise O lord save me oh my god you have struck all my enemies on the cheek you have shattered the teeth of the wicked salvation belongs to the lord may your blessing be upon your people so my dear friend again i pose that question who do you run to in times of trouble? Here, as we can see, for King David, this was him actually running away from his son. He fled from his son. And so this is literally a family issue. But he still ran to God. He could have run to the other family members and all of that, but he ran to God. So meaning sometimes it can happen that your family can be the ones who are against you. Who do you run to? If that is the case, who do you run to? If you find yourself in a situation like that, who do you run to? My dear friend, I'm just here to encourage both you and I that no matter what it is that we're running, that we're going through, may the first one that we choose to run to, in fact, may the only one that we choose to run to be God Almighty, because He's our refuge, He's our hiding place, He's the He's our all in all. No matter what it is that we need, we find it in Him. Is El Shaddai, the all breasted one, the multiple breasted one. So whatever you need, run to your daddy because He's ready for you. Either you choose to run to the world and you'll keep on wanting, or you run to the Lord and you'll find rest. So you run to the Lord, you'll be resting. And that's what we see King David said. Ah, the moment he just realized, you know what? God has been faithful. He has never failed me. In everything that I've gone through, he's just been number one. And he's just been there. He's come through for me. He slept like the whole night and woke up again now with so much boldness and so much courage, knowing that, hey, I said, I know I said before that there were so many enemies I could see, but right now I'm not scared of a tent of thousands that are around me because I know what my God can do. In fact, I know it's already done. As long as I run to my daddy, I know I find safety in him. So my dear friend, I'm just here to let you and I know that your safety, you find it in God, whatever you want you find it on God so run to him my dear friend because he's always ready his arms are always wide open he leaves a 99 just for you so run to your daddy because he's waiting on you now if you're ready let us pray right oh, to you are all wise and all knowing king to you are alpha and our omega our all in all oh, oh daddy where can we go from your presence oh Jehovah where can we run oh right father 
Father, we're just here to say thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for encouraging us. Thank you for the word itself because whenever we find ourselves in situations that are tough, we have your word that we can run to. We have your spirit which quickens us all day, every day, comforts us, even brings back verses in times of trouble and in times where we are just like, okay, what do I do now? Then a verse or a word just comes to us from you. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you for your son who died on the cross for our sins. Thank you for your love. Because above all else, this is all because of your love. That's why we're here. Oh, Jehovah, right now, as we have read on the wings of Psalms 3, oh, Father, you are our glory and the lifter of our head. No matter what it is that comes our way, oh God, may we run to you because we know that you're, as long as we put you first, as long as we put you in front, oh God, then it means all oh, things are sorted. We are at peace. We can sleep. We can wake up knowing that God's got it. The battle is not ours for indeed it is yours. So Father, we pray right now. I even pray more especially for my dear friend that no matter what it is that they're going through, may they run to you, oh God, because as they're running to you, as they're crying out to you, solutions are already provided. That um, whatever problem that they're facing is already sorted out because that's just who you are and that's just what you do. God, you are our hiding place. You are a safe refuge, Father. No matter what it is that we see in front of us, may it be you that we actually see. May it be you that we exalt. May it be you that we lift on high because nothing and no one could ever and can ever compare to you. To be all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration. And as always, anyway, and everywhere there is darkness, I decree and declare, let there be light. We give you all the glory and all the honor, Jehovah. Your name be praised and we say amen. Now, as always, my dear friend, be encouraged, be strengthened, and keep winning. Remember, your help comes from the Lord. Your help is in the name of the Lord. Your help is in God. I'll see you tomorrow. More grace.